I'm just tackling this damp chimney breast at the moment and I thought I'd run you guys through exactly what we're doing um, to fix the issue of damp coming through the chimney breast which is quite a common problem on older properties. So um, obviously the first thing we need to look at is uh, why moisture is in there in the first place. Um, so it's an open chimney so the plan is to get that capped and make sure that the, uh, the chimney breast is vented to keep the air moving through and that will save any moisture building up inside the chimney breast. So in terms of how we treat it we're actually going to use a vapour control board which you can see here. Um, we don't dot and dab this product on because obviously it's uh, foil back. Um, standard dot and dab uh, drywall adhesive it won't bond to this because it's foil it will just pop off it won't adhere to the, the foil so what we use is um, a polyurethane adhesive you can use any any type uh, mega sticks the one that we we like to use or insta stick um, these guns are good they're expensive but they're worth investing in one of these guns and some cleaner as well if you if you're using them regularly much better than using the straws um, that come with the cans they're no good um, use them a few times and then they block up um, so I'll just run you through how we do it so it's different to dab drywall adhesive so what we do we'll just put a layer of the foam we'll put a bed of around 20 mil onto the back of the board like so um, and then what we do we just leave that alone so I've left these two here for around 10 minutes and the reason we do that is because we need this um, adhesive to firm up a little bit before we, we can tamp it and, and get it into place if you just squirt it on and stick it straight to the brick you'll, you'll lose your adhesive bed because it'll it's uh, it's so wet that it'll just compress and um, you won't be able to get any kind of level uh, with the adhesive so again this has been about um, maybe 10 minutes or so and you, as you can see it's developed a bit of a skin and when it's like that we can bond it on so I'll just show you exactly what I mean because this is um, firmed up a little bit and it's got a skin on the adhesive and it's sort of semi dry we can actually tamp it back a bit like dab and it will stay where it is make sure if you're going on to masonry that is, you brush it down and you PVA it and make sure it's sealed and uh, that PVA is completely dry before you um, use this adhesive same same with um, dot and dab really in that sense so you can just see now guys this this foam is just starting to start to firm up a little bit almost feels like um a bit like a marshmallow if you like still got it's still a little bit wet so it'll grab the brick you don't want it too dry obviously because it won't bond but um yeah it'll, it'll start firming up feel like a, a little bit like a marshmallow it's it's more difficult to use than dab drywall adhesive this stuff it's a bit fiddly um, you can, like I just mentioned, you can tamp it, but um, depending on how much this stuff expands, depending on which brand you, that you use, uh, we have had it in some jobs where it's expanded and it's caused us a few issues. So we've got it level, we thought, yeah, great, it's all sorted, and walk away and come back half an hour later. And um, we noticed that the board might move a little bit. So what we do, we always just prop it in place so here i've just used my spirit level there and put the prop against the sofa there just for 20 minutes just while it cures it's quite fast curing but it's just to make sure that as the gear expands it doesn't push the board out of plumb so um again 20 minutes and that'll be sound but um, unlike drywall adhesive which you just lob on and tamp and it stays where it is this stuff uh, it can expand again depending on which brand you use so just bear that in mind when you're using it and prop it with a straight edge i did the same on these um two reveals last night and these ones just to make sure they're plumb